one of them would be Zelda Link to the Past, of course. That one I just really like because it's a believable but cute world and it's all kind of consistent and you feel at home from the start. I tried to make something that where you feel at home, like the world should be really inviting or just something where you feel comfortable. Super Mario Brothers 2, the rules, the game rules or the gameplay elements are kind of strange because you pick up these potions and you throw them on the ground and they open a door and just these ideas are really, just really creative. It's just a strange little world and in Where's My Heart you also have these really strange rules and the game doesn't really explain too much to you. You just have to kind of discover those rules for yourself and I think that it's important to not take the player by the hand too much. Oftentimes the old games don't do that too much. They don't show you too many tutorials and it works. I mean, you just kind of push against the system of the game and you figure it out. Okay, it's also going to be an old one. It's going to be Bubble Bobble. Also, it has really funny gameplay elements. Like, they are like water bubbles, I think. And then you come into, like, a river starts flowing, like a little stream, and you're transported by the stream. <laughs> and it's just kind of funny. And also, a lot of games have this, but the levels are really small and, like, just one screen. That's also what we did with Where Is My Heart. I think Kirby is an interesting game because it has really hand-picked color palette. It's kind of timeless in the way they pick the aesthetic or the colors. For Where's My Head, oh, we also took a lot of care about which colors we want to show in the game world. I guess especially the forest world has kind of strange colors. The color choices of the trees, the green is really strange, and the sky. So maybe in that sense, it's influenced by Kirby. Like all, all these old adventure games I really like too because I like narrative games. I mean Loom is really good because it's this really strange world and you don't know whether it's in the future or in the past. And then also the gameplay is really cool, the kind of melodic puzzle solving. But basically I really like the narrative in adventure games and in these old adventure games I still I'm still really fond of and yeah, yeah. <laughs>